Hello, I'm Annalisa Lowther. And I'm Lila Wills. And, and welcome, welcome to, to The, the Morning, Morning Show. Show. Exciting news to report, Grants High School will be offering cheerleading and a dance team for the upcoming school year. So that means two separate teams. Off-season workouts for the dance team have already begun and tryouts will take place on April 15th after the Easter break. Off-season workouts for cheer will be announced as a new cheer coach has just been hired. In both cases, to participate in either of these teams, you must have a completed NMAA physical form your rank one information complete and you must meet NMAA academic eligibility requirements. If you have any questions, feel free to stop in at the front office or speak to Mr. Jaramillo. With the school year quickly coming to an end, there are a couple NMSU grants events coming up that you may be interested in. First is an open house on Tuesday, April 16th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. All current and prospective students and their families and friends are invited to attend. The event will feature campus tours and demonstrations, the opportunity to meet faculty, staff, and fellow students, and of course, fun games and snacks. Do you think you're going to be going to that event, Annalisa? It sounds kind of fun. It I think does, I might. It does sound kind of fun. I mean, if you go, I'll go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You guys better go. Check it out. Next is the NMSU Grants Career Fair which is taking place on Wednesday, April 24th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Visit the career fair for an exciting day of career opportunities, networking, and job growth as NMSU Grants connects with you and the top employers in the state. For more information on either of these events, please call 505-287-6678 or speak to one of your student success advisors. Students and staff, if you have any new and sealed bottles of lotion, clothing softener, or other toiletries that you are able to part with, please consider donating them to Roberta's Place. These everyday items are needed for the women, children, and families that are unfortunately affected by domestic violence. You can drop off these items right here on campus in room 272 with Miss Carpenter or at 807 Roosevelt Avenue, the location of Roberta's Place. I really want to go donate some of my stuff to like those people because that kind of breaks my heart knowing that people out there that are within our community have to go through such things. So I feel like just being able to give something is going to like, knowing I'm helping is going to like, I don't know, yeah, hopefully just, make a difference. Just give back to those who need it most. Mm -hmm. I think everyone should participate in that. 100%. Sure. 100%. The GHS baseball team is on fire recently since dropping a pair of games at Farmington Tournament the fourth ranked Pirates have won five straight, including yesterday's district win over Valencia, 11-2. The win sets up another district battle with St. Pius on Friday at the Grant Stadium. The Sarans have lost four of six. Though it's been against tough competition, they are ranked second in the most recent Max Preps poll. The GHS softball team unfortunately dropped its first district game of the season yesterday, a 10-3 loss to Valencia that was closer than the score seemed. The game was 4-3 to three in favor of Valencia. Heading into the seventh inning, that's when Valencia erupted for six runs to salt the win away. The Lady Pirates are back in action tomorrow at St. Pius and will keep you posted on the results. In tennis news, the GHS girls team posted a convincing 7-0 win over district team Valencia yesterday. The Lady Pirates won every singles match and every doubles match to sweep the Jaguars. This weekend, the Pirates will head to a four-way team match competing against Hope Christian, Cleveland, and Manzano High Schools in Albuquerque. We'll keep you posted. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching, and remember, we are GHS, GHS for success. Spicy. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs>